Hi everyone, this is Bharat. In this video, we are going to see about deploying PowerShell scripts to Intune and how to create a script policy and assigning it to groups. Let's move on. PowerShell script in Intune deploys through Microsoft Intune Management Extension. If all the prerequisites are met for Intune Management Extension, it will get installed automatically when a PowerShell script or Win32 app is assigned to the user or device. Prerequisites for Intune Management Extension Windows 10 version 16.07 or later is the first prerequisite. In case if your device is enrolled using bulk auto enrollment, then the device must run Windows 10 version 1709 or later. Windows 10 S mode is not supported since S mode does not allow running the non store apps. And this is a very important thing. And the devices join to Azure Active Directory, which includes hybrid Azure AD joint. And uh, please note the devices which are just joined to Azure AD registered will not get the script. And this is furthermore prerequisites for Intune management extension. And of course, devices should be enrolled in Intune, which includes devices which are enrolled through GPO and also devices manually enrolled in Intune which can be auto enrollment to Intune is enabled in Azure AD or user signs into the device using the Azure AD and then enrolls in Intune. And also the devices which are co-managed devices. So we just see the steps to create PowerShell script policy and how to assign it. First, of course, we need to log into the HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com, which is our endpoint, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. After logging to that, you can select devices and select on scripts and you can select click on add. So once you click on add, there will be two options. One is for Mac OS and one is for Windows 10. In this video, we are going to see Windows 10. Select on Windows 10 and after uh, selecting Windows 10, you will get a window basics. Enter the name and description. It is optional, either you can mention it or not. It is not important. You can see there is no red star here, so it's not just optional. And click on next. And under script settings, you have to choose the script location. So I have selected a demo script of PS1 and in case if you want to run this script using the long term credentials, you can just click on S. But I prefer using the system context. So I'm just clicking on and I'm, I'm just leaving it as default, which is a no. And again, enforce script signature check. I don't want to enable it. I don't want to script to be signed uh, uh, to check whether it is signed or not so i'm just leaving the default but in this case i'm just selecting s because i want the script to be run in the 64-bit powershell host you can see here the script will run in 64-bit powershell host on a 64-bit client and the same case if i if i sub in case if i deploying the same powershell policy to a 32-bit system then it will utilize a 32-bit powershell host in case if you're selecting uh, your no, then then the PowerShell policy will run only on 32-bit PowerShell host. Though if you're deploying to 64-bit system, it will be always 32-bit PowerShell host. So I prefer selecting S so that I want the 64-bit PowerShell host. Fine, we'll see next. And assignments. You have to choose the group, select groups to include. 
in this case i'm just selecting a devices group and then click on select and then click on next and next the final one well, it's review and add so we can just review name description so everything is fine okay so in my case this is a demo script okay it's running in the 64-bit powershell host and included groups the devices and just click on add but once it is added you can see the powershell script is getting successfully created and the policy is created for that powershell script and it is successfully assigned so now we'll see about the execution part going to microsoft and by default whenever the um, microsoft management extension agent turn tries to check the intune it will always check once every 60 minutes and after every reboot for any scripts or changes so by default it is every 60 minutes it's not like a fixed time in case if it is a 3 15 pm and the next time it will check is at 4 15 pm and again the next check will be at 5 15 pm in case of our, our script fails to execute the engine management execution agent will try to re reattempt the script three times that is once every 60 minutes so example if you if i'm deploying a script at um, 3 15 pm and if it is getting failed and next time it will run at 4 15 pm and the third time again it will run at 5 15 pm but the next time it will check in but the script will not run so those policy can be determined in this registry policy the retry policy you can see here so under hk local machine software microsoft engine management extension and policies and this is a guid for the powershell script under that you can see the download count now it reaches the third maximum attempt and it's showing success this you can modify in case even after three times if it is failure if you want to troubleshoot you can just go to the registry and you can change the download counts to zero so that the intune management extension will again start initiating the execution of powershell script in case a new user is signing into the device where the powershell script is already deployed for the old user what will happen the powershell script will again run for the, that new user who signs into that device log file path for engine management extension agent is it's a c drive program data microsoft engine management extension logs the main client log file is management extension log that's which is engine management extension dot log which contains all agent check-in policy request policy processing and reporting activities agent executor dot log is to track powershell script execution details and client help dot log is to track site core agent client health activities we'll just see a sample um, snapshot of engine management extension dot log here you can see when i push the power powershell first time it got failed and the second time in the system the download count automatically got increased to two and then this time it's fetching the policy so this is a sample file for agent executor.log once the agent executor.log is triggered the powershell script timeout is 10 minutes so powershell is successfully executed fine then thank you I'll be continuing um, the same in the next video deploying PowerShell script through Intune demo. Thank you for viewing.